you know, once again, God is in movement. Um, many say that we will feel his presence strongly within these next couple of days as it is 925, um, September 25th of 2022. Um, you know, the scripture in Daniel 925, where they where it's written where he will re rebuild and there will be seven and sevens right as in the scripture of roman 9 25 those who were not my people i will now call my people in john 9 25 where he has written also he has the authority to give life eternal if they would simply open their eyes to the truth and say lord i believe help my unbelievers right and some can say like, some can say, why would God allow us to be in this hateful, sinful world, right? Why would God place us in this world? I am a firm believer that God knew who we were. And it says in the Bible, God knew who we were before we were placed in our mother's womb, right? Just as in Galatians 4.19, my dear children, for who I am again in the pains of childbirth, until Christ is formed in you again, right? So we are these innocent souls released into this world, right? And we are released into this world of sin, of hate. And it doesn't matter if you come from a good home or not, right? It's going to come your way if you don't have the proper structure of faith within your home, right? And even if you do have the proper structure of faith within your home, there's going to be outsiders to plant that negative seed, right? There's going to be um, this world of lust that's going to gravitate you, right? Until one day you wake up and you're like, this is not, there's something more. There is something greater. What is missing, right? And then that's when the desire for Christ to be reformed in you is going to happen as it's done to me. Now, at first, when I felt the Lord, I was like, Lord, I am not a speaker, even though I like to talk. I am not a speaker. I have tattoos all over me. I don't have a platform. I don't have status, right? And he's like, my child, I have already validated you. And I do not call on the qualified. I qualify the call, right? And sometimes the the called needs to outshine the qualified. And I'm not saying that what is happening in these churches or is wrong. But what I'm saying is the truth is not being spoke upon, right? We're, the church is not speaking of the spiritual warfare that there is, right? The church, most people think that they can go to church on Sundays, allow scripture to be read to them, and they're going to be saved. And that is not true. And you do not have to be a Christian to be saved. You need to surrender. And you need to ask for forgiveness. You need to clear your sins and repent. Right? And then you will be reborn. Then you will be reborn. You get rebaptized. You get reborn. Okay? Now, the Lord is strongly moving you know there's people of having visions of war um chaos and i firmly believe it i mean there i am a firmly believer if we don't do something now that china and russia is going to come against us it's going to be a new war war the, a new war right you know he's understanding the division between man and woman right he sees and I'm going to go here and it's going to hurt people and people are going to get upset. And I was once in this position of the LGBTQ community. Right? Because if we don't follow his word, there's always going to be something missing. There's always going to be a piece that doesn't seem right. Right? Nobody has not known what I've gone through and the hurt that I have to, had to endure. I don't hold myself to that. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's a good, loving God, right? Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you. Thank you for being with me. You know, but through the whole time, I always had a graceful heart. 
I didn't hate, I didn't judge, and um, he's a good God. He is here to fix his world, you know, and it is said in the Bible that he will, he will guide us to peace, but we need to get there. We need to get there, and I, and I really am a firm believer that's why he is calling on many of us that are not perfect that is calling on many of us that have been through trials and tribulation so that we may teach others. We may teach others that it's okay. You can be forgiven. You can have a peaceful life. And if you are called, it's not about making it to the top. Yes, we want to make it to the top, but it's most importantly about filling the cup with Jesus. Right? It's most importantly about getting his word out. And the Bible does say that some that are called will fall away. But imagine you being touched by the Lord. You know his existence. You know what a loving God he is. And not fulfill his path. What kind of life would that be for you? Right? What kind of life would that be for you? Um, we have to believe and we have to have faith. Even though we cannot see it. Because that is what faith is. And I believe with all my soul and nobody can tell me what I know and what I felt right there's so many people that are skeptical oh well science can tell you this too but guess what the things that science have labeled and came up with were written way before in the Bible they were already written in the Bible I want you to know that he is a loving God. He wants to guide you. And he wants to be here for you. And anything is possible. But the main important thing is to love yourself and to want a greater life and to want to move forward and to understand. And um, yeah. Mm, he's such a good God, and I'm not going to be ashamed to um, praise him. Um, I'm like, I am your servant, Lord, just as those in the Bible. I am your servant. He already placed His. He already placed in my heart, and I'm like, use my mind so that I may speak upon you, Lord. I hope that everybody has a blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.